Hey, you got your boarding pass? No, you had it, right? No, you don't need a boarding pass, you idiot. It's a private plane. Been on a west side, cause it's why I stay I just made a thousand, do it ain't a face I've been going in, oh, I'ma close the case I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day I've been on a west side, cause it's why I stay I just made a thousand, do it ain't a face I've been going in, oh, I'ma close the case I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day I'ma blow the day How, I mean, how freaking lucky are we, huh? Yeah we get paid to snowmobile, <laughs> jump on a private plane. Now we get to go see new snowmobiles coming off the line. Man, living the life right now. I ain't hearing what they say. Need a blue face, I've been caring about the race. I've been trying to eat, I need more than just a taste. Now they trying to talk, I know they should know their place. Man, I'm ballin', some cat, baby, now I feel like That's so cool, man. Two hours, 20 minutes from start to finish it takes them to build a sled. An entire snowmobile, two hours, 20 minutes. Good job, Brant, that was a cool shot. You always wonder how all of this stuff gets created and how much time, effort, money, fixtures. It's so cool to be able to see this firsthand and like what all goes into building a snowmobile. It's crazy. We were quick, dude. Kyle, you need to up your program. We are, yeah. We're not as we're not as quick as we think we are. Yeah. They have like 50 Kyles over there. <laughs> Those are all robots. They literally put a skid frame in in seven seconds. That's impressive. This is probably one of, literally for me, one of the coolest places that I could ever be. This, we're, we are here at Rozo, at the Polaris factory, and chaoses are running down the line right now. It's incredible to see how the process is. They are doing 280 sleds a day. A day building sleds. Kyle, Ross, you guys can't even build a one a day at home. What's up? Hey. 
I always wondered who got to drive my sled first. It's her. She gets to drive my snowmobile first. She gets to drive everybody's sled first. <laughs> hey, you get to ride everybody's snowmobile first. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's days like this when I really do realize I do have the coolest job on the planet. Not one of the actual coolest job on the planet. So today I'm here at Roseau, Homo Polaris, getting to see the very sleds that you and I get to ride being assembled. Uh, it's really cool to be able, for well, one, they let me bring my phone in here. Phones are like totally prohibited. I get to share this whole experience, this whole tour of what actually goes into building these snowmobiles. And, uh, I get to show you guys. So uh, big thanks to Polaris for letting me do this. Uh, Ross and I actually got to jump on Polaris's plane, fly up here. Then we get to do this. Ross, is this not the best day ever? Pretty much the best day ever. Yo. Can I turn this down? Nope, that was track, sorry. Look who we picked up. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey. It's been a few months. <laughs> it's been a few months. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Today, uh, we're at another little Polaris facility. What do we do? What do we do here, Chris? So this one is where all the really top secret stuff is. We couldn't show you the top secret stuff from yesterday, but this place, well, we can't either, but I'm excited to go in here. Yesterday was sick. Not a lot of talking because uh, there's so much going on. I was just like shooting everything I possibly could throughout the factory for the tour, everything that was allowed to be filmed. And then after that, we had like a lot of stuff that we couldn't shoot and talk about. So yeah, now we're here. Who just texted you? Heavy D. Heavy D. Heavy D is like, when are you when are you ready to build my snowmobile? Uh, right now. Let's go build a monster. Let's go build some turbos. He, he must have been happy with the last ones we built. Ryan, ready to party? I get amped up on some Ignite here. Oh, I'm in for that. Let's go. <laughs> he wasn't kidding about the Ignite. <laughs> Jeez. Dude, what you have? You're on stuff? the Ignite train, huh? Dude, yeah. Ignite, hot Ignite, hot slumber. Ignite, slumber. It's I, the best stuff. Ever. I try to tell people about the Ignite. Oh, here's what I say is after you after you take it or like you know you're putting it in the bottle I'm like enjoy the ride enjoy the ride <laughs> it's not that gnarly it is for <laughs> me dude I can't even take <laughs> a full scoop like, oh. you can't even take a we are back hello it is 2019 19. I don't know what, what year, year it is, is. Uh, we don't know what year it is what country are you in right now I don't know we're not in a country we're in heydays <laughs> if we if we walk long enough Brant will get stopped <laughs> is that Brant over there is that that Chris Bant guy? Let the madness start. It's Chris, it's boy. You would think I'm at the beach. No, oh, they don't even think that I'm at the beach? I don't know where you think I am, but... If you wonder how large Haydays is, every one of those little white dots is a camper or a car or a trailer or something. It's like a... It's just a zoo out here. I'm just a zoo a animal. People. A lot of people here. And so you and I, we find this awesome drainage. You wheelie across this thing, get a little hung up, and I'm coming for you, right? Yeah, dude, your ski was touching my butt. <laughs> I literally <laughs> ran over Keith Curtis. And and it's so funny, like, li watch, listening to the GoPro shot, I did not let off. And I knew I wasn't going to kill you. I mean, but it's like, and because all we I were kept both wide open. Yeah, all I kept thinking, I'm like, well, Keith wouldn't let off. I ain't letting <laughs> no, off. No, no, yeah. I think you're using my my tunnel for traction, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Your ski was on my butt. You're basically pushing me up this mountain, 
and Brand just had a little bit more momentum, and I had to end up turning out. And he's like, no. <laughs> and I think I was like, no. And Brand was like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, ah. Any, anytime you can look down and see Keith Curtis, I do. I was like, yes. Yeah. This is working. Dan, I, I want you to describe. Uh, tell tell everybody how you describe that. So it reminded me the way you and I reacted to him grabbing that mountain bar was like a couple of like healers on the back of like a cowboy's flatbed. Like you got close to the truck. I mean, we were like, what? Oh my God. And we just were like barking. Run, 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 run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, running. He gets, running, to, the, he gets you know? to the top and he's just like on his last breath. And you and I just, no mercy whatsoever. What was that? Yeah. Just you go, know you never touched the mountain. <laughs> oh, we just went nuts at him, dude. Ah. Just like a couple of vicious dogs, man. So I was right behind Keith, and he's riding, and all of a sudden this snowball starts tumbling like 20 feet above me, and it it grew bigger than my snowmobile, by the, and it smoked my sled. <laughs> the worst spot ever. It was this huge ravine. My sled just started tumbling, and luckily it stopped. I look back, and Ross is like chilling back there and he's like hey 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 watch out and we look up and Matt and his sled is just tomahawking, tomahawking down the hill and uh it missed my sled by like five feet and I was like oh my gosh this is Jackson without the hill help yeah yes yeah, yeah. Well, and no catch fence no, no catch fence yeah the trees were the catch <laughs> they fence. Were. Yeah. yeah so his sled like goes down and it stops in some trees and then mine is just barely holding on it has a stab ski we move it Barely, and it just starts tomahawking down the hill, and it lands on Mad Sled and breaks his hood. <laughs> it's me! Hey, days, 2K19, we here. Your boy! Your boy! Where's Kyle? Your boy, Kyle! Your boy! Hi! Yeah, I didn't choose the entertainment life, but the entertainment life chose you. The entertainment life chose me, I guess. That's your calling. Most of the time, it's on accident. Check out that freaking gimbal thing rolling around in there. Dude, I'm gonna see. That is so cool. Kyle, I know. What is who's your favorite is? rider? My favorite rider, Ross Robinson. Mine, Ross Robinson. Do you know your own favorite rider? Yeah. I'm, I'm my own. No, it's this guy right here. His head's not fitting in the camera anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not my favorite rider. I hate myself Answer. as a rider. <laughs> oh yeah, then he doesn't believe me that I actually think he's my favorite rider. Most entertaining? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, dude. I didn't say most entertaining, but that works. <laughs> that favorite. entertainment value is... Favorite rider is Kyle Pulsifer because he is the most entertaining, entertaining rider. There you go. Boom. Nailed it. One of the things that Ross and I were talking about is, uh, you know, you feel this track right now and you're like, wow, that's really stiff. And what his track ended up like at the end of the season, uh, there's no no doubt why it performs way better at in mid-season form. And, and it actually didn't take that long to, to get that way, but those first couple rides were... Yeah, the first couple rides, the paddle step, there's, yeah. there's a certain level of break-in just to get the flex out of the different corners. Yeah. Be more diverse for, for more conditions, because just like you said, you described it to a T, right? Mm -hmm. That day you went and it was hard as a rock, if you have a soft track, you're just slipping and spinning all over the place. And then next day it softens up. So it's, it's really nice to be able to be vers versatile. Sure. Yeah. After riding, I rode Chaos a bunch last year. Uh, we got them right after they were released, and then we rode them just about every single day until we ran out of snow. I made a pretty bold statement. Uh, for those of you guys who follow me on social media, you guys got to see a lot of posts and content surrounding chaos. Um, and I made a bold statement of, I believe 80% of the people who ride the mountains or and or off trail in an RMK, I believe they belong on a chaos. It's a pretty bold statement, right? right? First turn, first couple initiations getting on edge, they could feel it instantly. So just just think if if you could if you could have 10% less effort per counter steer throughout the day when you do it hundreds of times, that's, that helps you be more efficient at the end of the day. You're not signing. Hey Ross. Why you What's signing? up, bro? I think Chris is signing for me. <laughs> Shut up. That's Sorry. Two years in a row. Ah. You just keep doing your camera work, guys. Shut up. Yeah. Stick with what you're good at. Yeah. <laughs> The shirt's still crushing me, Ross, just so you know. Really hard to take me seriously. Please take me seriously. Donuts. I thought you were supposed to be wearing a wig. Get a couple Insert clip of Sane licking the lens here. Already did it. 
And a mustache. That's where you work for the class. Yeah. For me, summer music looks like winter meets snowmobiles. Alright. At least that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Keep it straight, huh, Brad? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I like to keep it divided. Yeah. If I'm gonna do scary shit, keep it seasonal. <laughs> oh, he looks so good, dude. Who's this? Look at that guy. Who's that? Oh, hey. Long time no we'll see. <laughs> Euthanizer. <laughs> Is the vlogger following a vlogger right now? We got vlogging vlog. Are you vlogging vlog? <laughs> Man, I, fought, I saw an indie storm for 1500 bucks. I actually run a donut. Actually, your shirt, your shirt is making me hungry, Roscoe. Dude, look at all of those. Boom! Bam! That, my friends, is train domination right there. Triple crown. KC 7-Eleven in the house. I hear that guy can do some flips or something. I know that boy. Did you, Chad? Can you do one of them seat grabs where you grab your seat midair? That would be so damn cool, bud. Can you do a flipper? I just want to be Keith once. Oh, it's the most you can get in the time. Oh, two sauce gives up. Well, bro, you don't have to throw a fit. Yeah. Throw a fit here. A uh, little bit of a fit. Nice racing, boys. Things are getting pretty serious. That was four rounds. My legs, my legs are actually... That's too many crates. <laughs> Too many crepes. Dude, Lola. I also have the food oh, deli. What the hell so. is that? <laughs> <laughs> VIP status up here, Roscoe. VIP. Yeah. Chris Brandt, the entertainer. We're about to entertain. Actually, it's really easy to entertain when you're just giving away free stuff. Right? That's the key. Yeah. <laughs> How many like, it doesn't really care what I'm riding as long as I'm on a snowmobile. <laughs> I need to see five push-ups. <laughs> that is awesome. Those are real push-ups. I bet you can do five real push-ups, huh? <laughs> I like the Brand Spectrum to adventure shirt for the kids. BBA shirt. Yeah. I had riders who said there's no way in heck, right? We don't say H E W L. No way in heck that I'm I, I would spend four thousand dollars on a suspension. I'm like, yeah, I get it, dude. That's expensive. Ride my sled for a minute. And the, and they literally go do two turns. I, I was telling this story over at Player. They go do two turns, and they look back at me like, holy cow, a big difference, huh? And it better be. Right? It better be such a noticeable difference that you, in your mind you can justify, all right, mom is not gonna be happy that I spent $4,000, but I can spend $4,000 because it, it, I mean, it's that big of a difference. Take this away. <laughs> hey, there's hey, 2K19. <laughs> we should do a group photo. Let's recap yesterday, boys. Okay, let's recap yesterday. Because uh -oh. it, been, it was madness. We met Miley's new dad. <laughs> okay, we met Miley's new dad. We had three ignites. Four yeah, we're daiquiri. vlogging. Come on, in. Welcome, Come on in. Welcome to the vlog. I didn't think I can hold my hand out far enough. Recap of yesterday. We're at Arctic Effects right now. Kyle is signing posters like a madman. He's like the most popular guy here. Yeah. Poster. <laughs> well, artwork makes up for it. Yeah, we're at Climb, we this Polaris, Fox. Sure. Yeah, give me one of them cool pictures. Cam, so today we're at Artifacts. Climb, paint them all. Do what we do. Where are we at? Madness. Kyle, go, Kyle, Kyle goes, you got time? Because I got to draw you a poster. Like a Superman situation right here. Oh, yeah. Like where he's like Tricks. Oh, tricks. <laughs> you never put tricks on this. So you did. What, what happened here? <laughs> this is Superman. Oh, Superman. Oh. Then I threw a backflip. And he threw a backflip in. Yeah. The wind was starting to catch the front end. 
<laughs> Dude, nice tranny though. Yeah, see? You got it. <laughs> My name's KP, I go big, I'm Kylie, Kylie Pulsifer, and I'm a racer. <laughs> That's it, Heydays 2K19 in the books. Thank you to Polaris for sending Chris and I to the facility in Rozo to capture and see what all goes into making those snowmobiles. And it is very impressive, and we are very appreciative of all of the hard work that gets put in to building those incredible, mach incredible machines that we get to ride every day. Um, that was, oh my gosh, another monster vlog in the books. I'm just gonna start calling this Roscoe's Monster Vlogs. Um, that's about, I had too much footage. It was just too much. We did our best. We cut what we could. We did what we could. I hope you enjoyed it. Please um, let me know what you thought, what your favorite part of the video was. And yeah, more's coming at you. We finished off our Sunday with the podcast at Climb. There will be more content delivered on Barant's channel. Some of the talks that he did, I'm working on putting those together. They will eventually be on his channels. Um, the podcast is live from our athlete um, podcast, and the climb one is coming too. Wide open with Chris Brandt. Wherever you listen to podcasts, we're there on YouTube as well. All of those good things. Thanks again. Oh my gosh. So glad that one's in the books. That was a rough edit. I gave the camera to McConnell, and he just ran with it. So I just watched his footage for like 87 hours. So um, that was tough. But we got it done, and I'll see you guys sooner than later. <laughs>